Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys have all had a great week. Um, how have you guys been? Let me know. I hope you guys have been happy and well. And today's a beautiful day outside. Let's hope that it stays this way because we've had a lot of wet weather here in New Zealand and I am so over it. I'm so looking forward to summer already. I've been good. I've been super busy. Changes in my life that I think I'm ready for and some exciting opportunities. I'll let you guys know more about that another time. But anyway, in today's video, I'm doing this minimal no makeup makeup look so it's perfect because it only takes like 10 to 15 minutes it's great for those of you in a rush and for those of you that just want to look a little bit more like awake and alive and put together say for someone like me I do have a lot of acne scarring and blemishes sometimes and I do have dark under eye circles so I like to wear a little bit of something when I go out the house just so it looks like I've put a little bit of effort in. I feel like natural makeup looks are so pretty and so flattering. This look just kind of like defines your features and just enhances a little bit of your features as well. So I'm going to show you all the products that I've been using over the last few months for this look. I'll leave the links to everything down below in the description. So yeah, if you guys like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every 3 a.m. every Monday. Okay, so here is my natural face. I have nothing on it. Um, I don't even have fake tan on my face because it's been like two days since I put it on, so my face looks a little bit pale compared to my body. I'm just going to moisturize my face. Um, it is always important because it makes your skin not look so dry and your concealers won't crease and stuff. So I'm going to use my favorite skincare products for my skin, which is Okana. I just got sent a new kit. You can trial this out for 60 days and if you don't like it or if you don't see results then you can get your money back which is really awesome. And by the way you can use the code Alicia10 to get 10% off the Okana website. Which I've been using them for the last like two years now. So my favourites um, from this kit is the Skin Reset Vitamin B Serum with Niacinamide and also the Probiotic Eye Serum. Okana Vitamin B Serum also improves skin texture, refines pore size, calms blemishes eases redness and treats hyperpigmentation and it is all cruelty free Okana but I like to take some and just add it to my pore area and anywhere where I get a little bit of redness which is like up here and here and I like to blend it down my cheeks because like with my acne scarring I do have natural redness there and it like acts as like a moisturizer as well this is the best eye serum ever you guys need to try this if you want a good eye serum especially if you find your under eyes like crease a lot or you can see dryness or like lots of fine lines or something and like the older I'm getting I'm noticing more fine lines so this is like so amazing um yeah the probiotic eye serum from Okana amazing you guys need to try this so I just take oh it's brand new the feels of a brand new serum. Oh, I probably took a bit much, but sometimes I use this as a moisturizer as well. I use a little bit on my forehead as well because I just find that obviously this targets like fine lines and wrinkles and adds firmness. So I find it works really well for like other areas of my face as well. And you can use this like all in your delicate eye area, like all around the contours of your eye. And yeah, it just like firms it and makes it nice and hydrated and I notice that my concealer doesn't crease as much. Oh my gosh, you can feel like it instantly like firming under your eyes. It's so strange, but it works so well. Okay, so to cover up my acne and to like even out my skin tone, I'm using the MCO Beauty Miracle BB Cream. So this is Skin Perfecting Beauty Balm and it's got hyaluronic acid. Um, this is in the shade Natural Medium and it's long lasting up to 24 hours and even skin tone. And it is cruelty free and vegan and gluten free. So how awesome is that? So yeah, you can buy this from Beauty Collective as well or the warehouse and store. Um, but yeah, I always buy things online. And this just like evens out the skin. Oh, it's like putted on me. So I do about like that much. There's my war stripes. And I'm going to blend that in. So BB creams are so good. They're like light coverage. But it's just good to even out my skin tone because I have fake tan. And I look really pale if I don't use a BB cream. I forget how much I love this MCO Beauty BB cream. It's so nice. And it's so affordable as well. Perfect for summertime, etc. And it's so nice because when you look in the mirror, it still looks like... It's my skin, like it doesn't look like I've got any 
foundation on like it just looks like my skin is a little bit more even and matches my body and it gives a little bit of coverage okay so for concealer I use the Benefit Boing Bright On Concealer because this brightens the under eyes um, this is the shade Cantaloupe it looks like a pencil like one of those 90s pencils how cool is that um, so yeah I'm just using this and I'm just doing a little bit like in the inner corners because I've got such dark under eye circles and I put like that much under my eyes just really in the inner corner where it gets quite dark and then I spot conceal as well I know this is a few shades lighter but it works and then I will blend that in But yeah, you don't want to add too much concealer on it. I make sure I like bring it up on my eyelid because I always look so tired. <laughs> so that is done. And then after I blend it in with the Beauty Blender, what I'll do is I'll just go in with my finger just to make sure it's like all really seamless. Um, and so it just looks like skin, if you know what I mean. Now I just see it under my eyes and on my pores just because like if I don't see it under my eyes I find I crease. So I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in number one. This is nearly run out so I have to buy some more. So I'm just using the Sigma Large Shader E60 brush and then I'm putting a little bit on my pores and this will just like minimize the pores. It like really blurs. It's amazing this stuff. It's so amazing. Okay, so the next step I do is bronzer. I always do bronzer because I feel like my face looks really pale. I use the Benefit Hula Glow Bronzer, which is amazing. And this brush is just from Trade Me. It's one of the best um, brushes I've tried. It's like made from goat hairs, um, but it's just so feathery and perfect for bronzer. And I've always used it. It just came with an 18 piece set so I don't know if you can get one like this again but just use anything fluffy and I literally just go around my forehead and on my cheekbones and under my nose to give the illusion of a lift and I'll just do some along my jaw then what I do I don't even grab another brush I just swirl it around again this is like nearly run out as well oh my gosh and then i just like use that whole brush to define the eyes a little bit and i literally just sweep it in the crease like this with the whole bronzer brush because it just see it adds some definition to the eyes and then i've been doing this lately because my nose is like really crooked just here um what i do is i just draw on a little bit of bronzer like here Oh, it's a bit intense. I just blend it out with my finger though. And then I draw on some here. And I know this is not necessary, but I will grab a really light concealer. So I'm grabbing the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish. And I'm literally just putting some here. You don't have to do this at all, it's just because I've got a really crooked nose. So as you can see there, it's like given an illusion of a straighter nose. Anyway, so now I'm using the Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip Multi Stick. Um, and this is in the shade 110 Peach Thrill. This is amazing. I don't know if it's still available. Um, if not, just get any kind of like blush stick or like cream blush. This one is amazing because it's cheek and lipstick and you just like, oh, you just like twist it so it can like come up a little bit more. And I use this for blush. So I like just put some on my cheek. Do -do -do. And I literally blend it with my finger. This is so nice and creamy. So as you can see, it like blended in so nice. I love that and it gives like a bit of a glow. And then I'll also put some like over my nose like this. And I will tap, tap, tap. 
to blend that in. Okay, so now I am putting some like up on my forehead like this and I am blending that in with my finger. I don't know why I like adding it on my forehead. I just feel like it just adds a little bit of color and makes you look more awake and alive. And then what I do is I make sure I like take off any foundation off my lips and I just blot this on my lips as well. Cause sometimes I have no color on my lips so. And then I usually do brows, I don't do much. I just take my L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist volumizing brow gel and this is in the shade brunette i always get like darker brow shades because oops, because my eyebrows are so light i did get them laminated not long ago there i just like brush it and it like tints the hairs and i really like like brush it up i'm trying to grow out my eyebrow hairs so they look really crazy and unruly at the moment but i kind of like that and then I take a mascara, so I'm using the Rimmel Kind and Free Clean Volumizing and Conditioning Mascara. This one ama is amazing, this one's from Rimmel. It's vegan, it's kind to us, it's got like recycled packaging. And it's, this mascara is clump free and it has 100% bow based brush fibers and lasts up to 36 hours. Smudge proof, water resistant, and 99% of ingredients from natural origins. So I really like that because it is close to the eye. So I really wanted to use something that was like good for you and natural with not a lot of chemicals. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this again. Um, go Rimmel too. And I love the like applicator, how it's quite like long and thin. Perfect to get those like baby hairs. So what I will do to like add to the cat eye effect is I will just add a little bit more mascara on the outer edge. Yeah, and I'll make sure I do like three layers on this outer edge just to like, just to like um, make them longer. And for the bottom, I literally just put a little bit on and I like sweep it to the right. Okay, so mascara is done and now I'm going to do some fake freckles because I think this looks so cute and it just gives the illusion that you're not wearing anything on your face because natural skin sometimes has freckles and I think it looks so cute. So I'm taking the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen in Blonde. Um, I always use this one for like drawing in my hairline here if I like want to make it look a little bit more even. There we go, I just added on some... Here's, um, and I'm also just, yeah, dotting it on, I guess, like this, and I'm just tapping it in, um, and this will give the illusion of fake freckles. Cute. I'm also covering this pimple here that I have, and I'm just turning it into a big freckle. And I turn any like enlarged pores or like, yeah, any spots I have into a freckle. And you don't really need to rub this in because it does just naturally blend into the skin. So my friend from Instagram, Huda, has started our makeup line, um, a luxury makeup line. I'm so proud of her. Everything is amazing. She's literally sent me this whole box here we've got like this bag full of soft quality brushes we've got eye pencils brow pencils beauty blender sponge eyebrow styling wax which i so needed and an eyeshadow palette so yeah look how cute this is she sent me this whole lot i was going to use some of these in today's tutorial but i thought i will use products that i already use but i am definitely going to use her eyeshadow palette and one of her brushes, which is stunning. Look at this gold. It looks so fancy. These brushes are amazing as well. If you want to go and check out her range, I will leave the website link down below in the description and the Instagram page. These look stunning. I'm so proud of her. Um, so the brush I'm going to use is this brush here. And this is... Oh, we're going to roll that up. This one is number 10. Um, so... It's got a spoolie at the end and it's got like the angled brush there and it says who to fold on there and then number 10 and then HF 
on the other side. So such good pr quality brushes. I'm obviously going to use more of these things like throughout the weeks and other tutorials. And here's the Huda Fode Arabian Desert Premium Eyeshadow Palette, which is stunning. And all of her things are vegan and cruelty free as well. So amazing. Honestly, amazing. Um, so her eyeshadow palette is like goals. I've already had a look at it. And I'm like, this is amazing. And I'm definitely going to use this. I love neutral tones. Like if you know me, I used to always like do crazy makeup looks but I'm such a natural gal now I love this packaging so much effort put into it it's high quality I love this and I love how the packaging is really slim and sleek and it's like a magnetic close and it's got a mirror that's got who to photo engraved and look at these shades they are so stunning and all of the shades that I honestly love and will use and I'm gonna use this like all the time I wish this had a black in it that would make it like ideal ideal but obviously I can just use like another shade but it has dark browns which I love and it's got like a gold shimmery shade and like a white shimmery color um, it is beautiful so I'm gonna use the shade amber which is the one down here this dark brown color and i'm going to use this for a winged liner i'm obviously not going to put anything else on my eyes because that will defeat the purpose of a natural no makeup makeup look but i feel like i just want to define the brows a little bit more with this and the eyes oh my god yes this brush is amazing it is so defined so i feel like this works so well and what I do is I'm just going to extend the tail just a little bit more with that. Because my tails end quite shortly, but like to elongate it, it's brilliant. Oh my god, this brush is so sharp and precise. I'm obsessed. This is like, go Huda. This is an amazing brow brush guys and as you can see here I just like do natural hair strokes to like lift this eyebrow a little bit up I won't do this if I'm like feeling lazy but if I have a little bit more time in the day I will I'm gonna use this brush and do a little bit of a wing I can't get over how sharp and defined this brush is. Oh my god, this is perfect for inner corner, like, eyeshadow if you guys do that look. It is so defined, it doesn't make it like smudgy and messy. I'm going to take a little bit of the white colour and put it in the inner corner. Just to brighten it up, this shade is called Diamond. It is stunning, like. So here is the final makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. I am obsessed. I think it looks so pretty and so cute and it's perfect. If you guys just want to be minimal and make it look like you're not wearing much makeup, um, it's perfect for like just going out and doing errands in or like going to work with if you just want to look a little bit more awake and refreshed and the skin is looking so nice and glowy and hydrated thanks to those Okana products and that BB cream so yeah I hope you guys like this makeup look and you learned something new I really enjoyed filming this for you guys I just feel so like fresh and ready to master the day and pretty and quite like glam as well I don't know I really like minimal makeup looks on me I think it looks really nice and I think it looks nice with everybody because this is a look that will just like enhance your natural features and just add definition to certain areas so yay I hope you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like minimal makeup looks like this um, or if you want to see more like makeup tutorials just let me know please subscribe to my channel I upload every Monday at 3 a.m. New Zealand time I didn't post last week because I got really busy and that's news for another time why I've been so busy lately but anyway I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next week's video bye